Today we're going to be talking about the Ultimate XJ Steering Brace. From Boostrix Engineering. The version we bought was the Weld It Yourself DIY Kit. Before we talk about the brace, I need to take a second to compliment Bryson at Boostworks Engineering for being so quick to answer all of my questions via email. Even the dumb ones. And there were definitely a few of those. All of the parts came nicely packaged. Here's a photo of what came with the kit. The parts that make up the structure of the main brace are CNC cut from 3 16 inch mild steel. All of the hardware needed in the installation is included in the kit. I started this project by removing our sway bar and trimming about a half inch of metal from the lower sheet metal behind the bumper. If his description is confusing, it will be obvious when you try and put the brace in place. Depending on what bumper you have, you may need to remove it as well to allow access to the holes in the unibody where the supplied nut strips go. Once everything was removed and the metal was trimmed and hammered down, we installed the new pitman arm nut and started loosely bolting the pieces of the brace in place. We were not able to find a sock that fit the special nut. Socket. So we used a combination wrench and estimated the torque. Since there were tabs indicating how they fit, the two pieces that made up the passenger side got tacked together on the bench before bolting them to the Jeep. Part of the motivation for buying the DIY kit was that we have a Durango steering box and we weren't sure if the pre-made brace would accommodate the slightly offset location of our box. In the end, I'm pretty sure that we would have been fine, but the DIY version gave us a little extra flexibility and it was a fun project. Once we had everything clamped together and looking good, I tacked it all together and removed it from the Jeep to finish the welding. This is where I must admit, I'm not much of a welder. Doris could probably do better with a little practice. But this was a pretty easy project, and I feel good about the whole thing staying together. After everything was welded, we added some paint. Pink, of course. And we were ready for the final assembly. We centered the brace over the pitman nut and held it in place with the four 10 millimeter bolts then marked the front most holes for drilling. The instructions have you removing the brace to drill the holes, but I just left it in place. Be sure to paint the bare metal before the final assembly. You can now insert the nut plates into the unibody. Reinstall the brace and torque the bolts to spec. Last but not least, install and grease the pillow bearing. We haven't done any big off-road trips since installing the brace, but after about 100 miles of pavement and dirt roads, everything seems solid. Overall, we really like the kit. It should keep the steering box from ever moving around, and it adds some needed rigidity to the XJ's unibody. Best of all, it is well-designed and easy to install. Even for an amateur. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more. Bad welding. Hit the subscribe button.